Hello everyone and welcome to the Acumed YouTube channel. My name is Yeti and we're going to start a series where we're going to be reviewing several face masks that are sold on Amazon. These are going to be one of the top rated listings on the platform. In this video, we're going to be conducting several tests, one of which includes the filtration test that we'll be running through our TSI machine. And our goal with this video is to provide you with accurate information so that you can make informed decisions. So we're going to start off the series with these BYD N95 respirators. These come in a 20 pack and if I'm not mistaken, it comes individually wrapped. So let's open these up. In the packaging itself, it contains a lot of instructions of how to wear the mask. It also comes with the NIOSH approved number and at the bottom of it, it comes with a lot number. So this is how they look. They are individually wrapped. So we're gonna pull away three of these face masks so that we can try out for the filtration. On the actual mask, it provides you with the manufacturer's logo, the TC approval number, it comes with the NIOSH stamp and N95, along with the lot number, which is 6200706. So let's open this up and see how it feels. Personally, I don't like the nose wire to be showing. I like to be actually inside the face mask. And the uh, stapling, we'll see how it goes when it comes to the test but other than that I feel like they're pretty good the elastic might seem a little tight but let's give them a try and see how they feel when you put them on so I'm going to okay. these don't seem to have a very strong scent but they are a little tight I don't feel any leakage coming through. So they fit pretty nice. Okay, so starting off, these are pretty good, but we'll see if they pass the filtration test. We're gonna move on to the listing of these face masks. These face masks are currently $19.99 on Amazon. They are roughly around a dollar each. One thing that you have to make sure whenever you're shopping on Amazon is to make sure that the the make sure that the seller is a credible seller. So the way that you can look through that is if you scroll down and you see sold by, you can actually click on this seller person and see the rating. They are currently 95% positive, which is good. You can also scroll down and see all the other 13 sellers that are selling this specific face mask. So if you click on it, you can see all the other sellers they all vary in price. If we scroll down to the customer's reviews, it, it has a 3.8 out of 5, which is not the best, but it still has its 4-star rating. Um, with this, it comes with 56% of 5 stars and 15% of 1 stars. If we scroll down, we can see that the top reviews, um, Mr. Tom here is mad because it will not protect against COVID. But if you do, if you do know some things about face masks, you're not allowed to say that it can protect you for any virus. So um, he also stated that it does not comply with the NIOSH standards. But um, we'll see we'll see about that when we check the filtration test. But other than that, it does contain everything that it should have on the actual face mask and on the box. Another way that you can verify that they are NIOSH approved is if you go to their website, which I can link down below. When you go to the website, you are gonna be seeing all of the manufacturers that are, that are approved. So let's do a quick search on this specific model. This is the model, the DE2322. So if we look for it, it's right here. In this list, it provides you with the manufacturer's name, the model, the TC approval number, and so Mr. Tom could be a little misinformed. So now we're gonna move on to the filtration test portion of this video. I am going to be testing these three face masks with our TSI machine and we'll see how that goes. This is our TSI 8138 machine and it helps us figure out the penetration of the material. Our testing is inspired by the knowledge filtration testing procedure and I can leave a link below for reference. Before every testing, we make sure that the machine is calibrated for accurate information. 
The way that this procedure works is by cutting the headband and gluing down the mask on the plate as you can see from the video. This makes sure that the mask is perfectly sealed and we also double check it to make sure that there isn't any leakage before placing it under the machine. I am also preparing my second sample before I start my first one just so that this procedure can be quicker. So I am currently testing the first sample. The results ended up being 4.3% of penetration, which, which is equivalent to 95.7% of filtration, which is passing. And unfortunately, the second face mask filled with a filtration of 93.6%. Here is our last sample, and the results were 96.3% filtration, which is actually passing. Because one out of my three samples failed, I asked our mechanical engineer from our quality control team to test three more samples and see if the results are any different. Here he is, working his magic, repairing the machine once again, and proceeding with the testing. I am going to fast forward this a little more so that you guys don't see the whole procedure once again. Starting off with his first sample, this face mask failed with a penetration of 6.4%, which is failing at 93.6 filtration. His second face mask also failed with a 6.7% penetration and his last face mask actually passed with a 98.1% filtration. Here he is showing all of the three results. So as you guys saw from the filtration test, unfortunately these face masks failed but there could be many reasons why it failed one of them being the expiration date these are soon to expire they will expire in roughly about five months the date is 705 2022 so as you guys know these have materials that could deteriorate throughout the time that could be a reason another reason could be that the seller is storing them in a place where the temperature is not right for them so like I said, these videos are not to bash any company or to, you know, talk down on any manufacturer. Our goal is to provide you guys with really accurate information. So we have decided to contact them. So we reached out to them and hopefully they'll reach back to us and we can figure out why these failed. We can also maybe send this, send this batch to them and then they can test it and We'll just see what happens. I will keep you guys updated on that. Um, I am going to be posting the results once again on somewhere on the screen. Um, as you guys can see, these results have three different numbers. One of them being F, I have them right here. <laughs> One of them being F, which is the airflow. R is resistance, which basically is the breathability of the mask. The lower the number, the more comfortable they are to wear and to breathe. And P, obviously, is the penetration, which is what we tested. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. This was definitely not the outcome that we were expecting for our first video to be, but it is what it is. We want to provide you guys with the most accurate information. So like I said, I will keep you guys updated if they reach back. But also stay tuned for future videos. We are going to be trying several face masks, N95 and KN95. So if you guys have any feedback, any comments, please leave them down below. Um, if you guys want us to test any specific masks, also let us know. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. So I will be seeing you guys in our next video.